the shift to be thinking about long-term water quality and, and health effects? Because there's, of course, short-term health effects from water quality, right? There's water that can make you sick instantly if it's not uh, sanitized, if it's not fresh and clean. But now we're talking about health impacts that could come in years and perhaps decades. And, and I'm interested, Julie, to hear from you about this question of the EPA proposals would have the water providers monitor and test the water. Does this add a layer of complication? It does. I think what it points to is the need for America to focus more on water infrastructure. Um, you know, I talked about the 2.2 million Americans that don't have any water. They don't have a tap. They don't have a toilet at home that's working. Um, but there's 44 million Americans that have that are using drinking water systems that didn't pass the Safe Drinking Water Act. They had violations. So water quality is a huge concern in the U.S. And I think it demonstrates our need to focus finances, focus policies on keeping Americans safe. I think there's historically been a bit of a mindset of you know out of sight, out of mind. And as you pointed out, and as Melissa mentioned, uh, prevention is much more cost effective. And it's something that we need to focus on because there's things in the water that we don't know that are gonna be impacting us for a long time. Mm. 